A decade after she became the first person to swim from Havana, Cuba, to Key West, Florida, without a shark cage, Diana Nyad's epic journey has been chronicled in a highly anticipated, and contested, biopic that premiered Friday on Netflix. Adapted by Julia Cox from Nyad's memoir, Find a Way, and directed by the husband and wife team of Elizabeth Chai Vasarhelyi and Jimmy Chin, the crowd-pleasing sports film, Nyad, dramatizes the later-in-life triumph of the charismatic but divisive long-distance swimmer. Three decades after retiring from marathon swimming to embark on a second act as a sports journalist, Nyad became obsessed with the feat that had eluded her as a 28-year-old in 1978. So in 2013, at the age of 64, Nyad completed the 53-hour, 110-mile trek from Cuba to Florida on her fifth attempt, cementing her place as one of the most accomplished swimmers of her discipline. The Cuba to Florida swim was a dream that never left me and was always in the back of my mind, Nyad said in an interview that Netflix provided to the media. She was unavailable for further interviews because of Hollywood's SAG-AFTRA strike. There was something powerful about connecting these two countries. When I didn't make it at 28, I spent a year waiting for visas and the right weather to try again, ultimately becoming so exasperated that I decided to start my broadcasting career and leave the Cuba swim behind. I was living my life large, but I always held the Cuba swim in a corner of my imagination. That epic adventure was always drawing me, and I didn't want to leave it in a pile of regrets. Basarhelyi and Chin, who won an Academy Award for their intense, free climbing documentary, Free Solo, in 2019 and have received critical acclaim for, Meru, and, The Rescue, have long been interested in telling stories about athletes pushing themselves to the mental and physical extremes of their sport. I think there's probably an autobiographical element to it where I'm just trying to understand my own husband over and over and over again," Vasarhelyi said of Chin, an accomplished mountaineer, photographer and skier, in a video interview with NBC News. In, Nyad, the filmmakers recognized an opportunity to tell a remarkable story of human ambition that both aligns and extends their existing body of work, which, up until that point, had only included documentaries. I think that this film does set itself apart because it is about a woman's experience," said Vasarhelyi, who worked as director Mike Nichols' assistant while he was making, Closer, two decades ago.